Hey lovelies, it's Cory, your physical therapist and trainer. And welcome back to my channel for another amazing workout. Today is day five of our 630 hip and pelvic mobility, strengthening and flexibility mini series. And today's mini challenge will be a mini flexibility flow. We'll be in a 1990 for those hips and knees today. And we'll be doing some side bends and forward bends with this one. And we'll be working on a nice soft surface. So if you have your mats at home, go ahead and roll those babies out. And if not, feel free to work on your carpet or a towel, whatever you have on hand. And if you need some pillows or some yoga blocks to help, go ahead and grab those babies as well. Follow along to the tips I give along the way. And if this move is a bit too challenging for you, follow along to the modified versions I give in the corner of the screen, wherever they may appear. Grab everything you need. And without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so to start off in our 1990s, go ahead and start in our easy sitting pose just like this. One leg bent in front of the other, knees pointing out to the side. And just start off with that right leg in front for a 1990s. So we're going to sweep that left leg behind us getting that hip rotating inward and just getting that foot pointing out behind us. Just go ahead and check the hips and knees of both legs, making sure we have that nice degree angle forming that L. So go ahead and slide that left leg back so we get that L if you can manage it. And go ahead, if this is too uncomfortable for you to get both knees down on the mat, go ahead and slide one of your yoga blocks or your pillow under your butt so you're sitting comfortably there. Just easing the pressure off of those joints to create that angle. You can go ahead and also place that right hand on the mat to start off. Or you can go ahead and just place it on a yoga block, whatever is comfortable for you. You can also have another block over towards the left to press on whatever makes it easier for you. You can go ahead here, take an inhale to prepare. And as we exhale, we're going to tilt over towards that left side at the pelvis. We're not getting that back coming forward. We're not getting the chest rolling backwards. We're going to raise that right arm overhead. And we can use our left hand to just press that right knee down some more. Really deepen that stretch if we can tolerate it. And we're going to do that for six breaths. Let's go. Inhale, arms out to the side to prepare, lengthen that spine, get those rib capes expanding. And as we exhale, left hand to right thigh, and we tilt over towards the left, exhale. You can go ahead and look at that palm if we can manage it, or we can look straight ahead. Inhale, two. And exhale, over towards that left, really deepen that stretch, keep that right shoulder rotated outward so we're not compressing the neck muscles and the shoulder joint here. And three, inhale, and exhale. Really push that right knee down into the mat as much as you can tolerate it. Three more breaths. Inhale, come up, and exhale over towards the left. Two more. Inhale, up, and exhale towards the left. Last one, inhale up, and exhale. We're gonna hold it here on this last breath. Four breaths, inhale, and exhale. On each exhale, try to push that right knee down some more if you can manage it. Two, inhale. And exhale, try not to let that left leg drift forward. You can go ahead and use the back of that left arm, pressing into the groin, pushing that left leg back. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. We're gonna keep this position of both legs. Inhale, roll up. This time we're gonna bend forward over that right leg. Really deepen that stretch on the adductors. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, we're going for three breaths. Roll down at the pelvis. Go as far down as you can manage it. Inhale, roll up. You can go ahead and get your head down on the mat as you bend forward, or you can go ahead and place your head Exhale, roll down on a yoga block or a cushion, whatever is comfortable for you. Try to go as low to the ground as you can tolerate. If you're feeling any pain, just ease up. Last breath, inhale, roll up, arms up. And exhale, roll down. 
Hold it here. Three more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. With each exhale, try and go a little bit lower into the mat. Inhale. And exhale, walk those hands forward for an even deeper stretch. Really press into those adductors. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, walk those hands back as we roll up. We're gonna take our time getting that left leg back to that right back in your easy sitting posture. Just take our time now, switching legs, right leg behind us this time, rotating that hip inward. You can go ahead and get that foot pointing behind us and just get that hip and knee in or 90. Slide that right leg back behind us just a little bit more if you can manage it. You can go ahead, remember you can sit on your block or have another block just resting beside you either to the left or to the right, wherever it's comfortable for you. So you can rest that hand there. And go ahead, inhale, arms out to the side. And this time we're gonna tilt over towards the right at the pelvis on our exhale. The right hand can push that left knee into the mat some more. And inhale, roll up, arms out to the side, expand those lungs. And exhale, try to go a little bit lower, push that left knee into the mat some more if you can manage it. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, tilt to that right. Push that left knee into the mat. You get that stretch in the adductors on that left leg. Feel that stretch along the obliques of the left. Inhale, roll up. Three more. And exhale, over towards that right. Keep that left leg shoulder rotated outwards. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, reach out. Hold it here. Go for four breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Get all that air out. Push that left knee to the mat. Two, inhale. See how low you can get it. And exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, deepen that stretch, push that left leg in. Inhale. And as we progress, you can go ahead and think about elevating those legs as well. And exhale. Inhale, roll up. Keep that leg position. And we're gonna roll forward this time. Inhale, arch that back, arms up. So prepare the spine and exhale. We take our time rolling down, bending forward at that pelvis, over that bent left leg. Arms forward on the ground. Head, try to touch the mat. And inhale, roll up. And exhale, roll down. See how low you can get it. Keep sitting on that yoga block if this is too much for you to go all the way down. Stay flat. Inhale, roll up. And exhale, roll down. We're going to stay a little here for three breaths. Stay on the ground and breathe into it. Inhale. Exhale, try to walk those hands forward some more. Really lean into the groin of that left bent leg. Inhale. And exhale, walk those hands forward, deepen the stretch as far as you can go. Your head can rest on the mat or on your block or cushion, whatever is comfortable for you. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, walk those hands forward. 
Inhale, walk those hands back. Take your time rolling up slowly, vertebra by vertebra. And we did it. Thanks so much for joining us today for our mini flexibility flow. And stick around for tomorrow, day six. We have another mini mobility flow with our rainbow kicks and frog gate rocks. But before you go, don't forget to give this video a big, beautiful thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell right over there so you can see when I post a new video as soon as I post them just for you. Don't forget to also join my Patreon so you can get early access to the rest of my videos and also get behind the scenes footage, bloopers, exclusive content, and so much more. Don't forget to also leave a comment down below to tell me what you loved about this move, what else you would love to see, and just share with your friends so they may join you on this fantastic fitness adventure. And don't forget to also follow my socials so keep up to date with the latest tips and videos of everything else we have in store for you. And keep following along to the Shadow Guide for a 6.30 Hip and Pelvic Mini Series. And if you missed any of the moves so far from the series, go ahead and check out our 6.30 Hip and Pelvic Mini Series playlist right over there. And also next time, my lovelies, don't forget, love your body, have fun with your fitness, and I'll see you in the next amazing workout. Bye!